This presentation is a walkthrough of a completed Spotfire 10 analysis. In this scenario, you're a company who wants to open up some new stores and you want to select one or more of these locations. These red dots might represent possible locations of your store. Which location is best will depend on what kind of facility you're opening. Maybe you're starting a fitness center or maybe a daycare center or maybe a to-go restaurant or a high-end automobile showroom. In each case, you're looking for a certain demographic, maybe young or old, with kids or retired, maybe modest means or well off. So you want to know who lives in the regions around these locations. So in this analysis, I've also got some information from the U.S. Census, providing data on age, income, and college education at the census tract level. Here I've color-coded the polygons by the median age. I can also color-code them by college graduate level, median income. So I start by defining trade areas. I'll show these here on the map. These green polygons are areas within two miles of driving distance from each of the locations. The shapes are not simply circles. They're actually taking into account the uh, actual road conditions. Documentation on how to gather these regions is on our typical community wiki site on location analytics. I can go to the section on the REST APIs, and that brings up the trade area documentation, which I can find right here. There's some examples online you can just follow along. But it's a REST API with some very easy parameters to use and some, some good examples. Okay, so I've got the trade areas and the census tract polygons. I like to now merge these together. The easiest way to do this is to take advantage of the fact that the census tract areas also have these um, center points. So the flurry of black dots here are the centers of each of the polygons. So each center is associated with a median age, median income, and so forth. So all I have to do now is to figure out which of these black dots lie within each of the regions. So let me bring up the view into the data functions in this analysis. I've got two different data functions here. One of them is to get the driving distance polygons, the green polygons. The other one is to use the points in polygons function to calculate which of these black dots lies within each of the green polygons. Going back to the location analytics wiki page, there's a section on data functions to use. So here's the points and polygons data function. This is located in the Tipo exchange. So you can, you can get here directly from the exchange link. So you download this zip file to get the assets. So here I've embedded the data function that I got from the site. If I look at the outputs from this data function, this is outputting a new column called ID into the original census data file. So the census data file now has, has been enhanced with a new column called ID, which maps to the green areas. I can see that new column right here. I can take a look at that ID column directly in a table view. So here's my original uh, census tract data file of shapes. These are also the locations of the black dots. The X center, Y center are the black dots. I've got the population, household, and so forth. Also this ID comes from that points and polygons. Some, a lot of them are blank, but some of these have um, the names of the, the locations in there. So I can directly link these tables together. So to use this, I'm going to jump to the next page, which is the page on analysis. And I have the, um, the map again, and now I have some histograms of the number of people and number of households in each of these areas. I can do this because now I'm taking the sum of the population across the census tract, the black dots again, over each of the green areas there. So that's what, that's what that is. So it gives me a, a bit, an overall view of how many folks live in each of the areas. So with these filter sliders, I can place some what-if scenarios. So perhaps, for, for example, if I went to look for a, a lower median age, maybe people with, with, with kids, for example, I can do that slider. I can um, look at the higher college education or higher income, just move these around and so forth, and just look at the um, which areas light up. And in, in particular, I can look for how many people with these characteristics live in the areas or how many households there are. So I can basically dial in a customized uh, view of who I'm looking for. If I want to open up a, um, a fast food restaurant or a fitness center or a swimming pool, I can um, estimate my target demographics and dial those in and see which of these has the highest population that lives within two miles of each of, the, of those destinations. That might be the best place to focus on. So that's a short walkthrough of one example of a geospatial analysis using Spotfire 10 with some data functions. Mm -hmm.